Have you ever been curious about the sky and want to learn more about it? Have you ever wondered which telescope to start for a beginner? Well, looking no more because today I'm going to showcase you the Eacon telescope. There are so many things I like about this one and I cannot wait to tell you all about this. One of the first things I really enjoy about the telescope from Eacon is how compactable and how portable it is. When you bought this product, it will come with a pack pack and in the pack pack it will have all the parts that you will need to assemble your telescope. My first impression is this is not as heavy as I expected. And one thing I feel like is very important is how compactable this is. As you can see, all of the tools, all of the parts are included in this pack pack, which means that you can easily carry them around and it will help you for your journey too. The first part that we need to install is the tripod. This tripod base is very sturdy and very stable. It also comes with a bubble level. It will help you to level your tripod on whatever the surface it is. The next part that we have here is the handle. This handle will, is like a bridge between the telescope and the tripod. It will help you to connect the tripod together with the telescope. At the same time, it also have the handle that will help you to tilt your telescope so that you can find the best angle to find the stars or the animals that you are watching. The assemble is very easy. You just have to put it in the right spot, then just turn the knob until it's tight enough. See? Very simple and very easy. And that's how you install the handle. A telescope cannot be completed without an actual telescope. As you can see, this comes with layers and layers of protection. From what I see here, there are at least about two to three layers of protection that they have surrounded with this telescope. I really appreciate this because as soon as the telescope got damaged, it is unusable. So I highly appreciate how well they protect this telescope. I'm not gonna lie, at the beginning, I thought it's gonna be the pain to install the telescope. However, it's very easy and very intuitive. You just have to slide into the right position and then rotate the bolt to make sure you lock it in. And that's it. Testing with the handle and it seems working so far. The next part that we have to assemble is the mount. The mount is a part that will help you to connect the eyepiece, the eyepiece of the telescope to the telescope body itself. At this step, you need to be a little bit careful because you don't want to install the mount when you have the bolt that is on your way. We are getting there, I promise. The next step that we have to do is the eyepiece. The eyepiece that we are going to do for this um, video showcase is uh, 20 millimeters. With this 20 millimeter, it can have the magnifications up 30 times, which is pretty good. So what you have to do is just adjusting the bolt, make sure that everything is outside, and when you put the, the eyepiece into the right position, that's when you adjust the bolt in to lock it down. That's it. Pretty simple and straightforward too. The next one that we have here is called the fighter scope. The fighter scope comes with a crosshair which helps you to locate the object easily. Apparently, when you if you want to locate the object, you will find the fighter scope first. You will use the fighter scope first to know where it is, and then that's when you will look in through the telescope to actually see. This is the trickiest part in the whole setup because unlike the other step where you just have to put into the right position, for this step, you have to adjust to make sure that the fighters is aligned with the telescope. So after taking the bolt out, you will put the fighter scope in and then put the bolt back in to finish the installation of the fighter scope. However, you still have to adjust the position of the fighter scope so that it can align with your telescope. In order to do that, you will have to adjust these three bolts right here so that your fighter scope will be in the same direction with this telescope. Another feature that I really like is the phone mount. So basically, you can use this phone mount by installing your phone right here and you can watch use, use the telescope through your phone's lens. Here, this is what it looks. I'm going to showcase you how to do it. You just have to put it here and make sure to tie the bolt and then you have to align your phone with the bolt right the hole right here and then tighten the bolt and that's how you will set up your phone with the phone mount let's test it out during the day here as you can see this is my dog bagel and i am watching her being brushed from far away this is like about two almost a mile away as you can see this is how you can use your phone to look through the telescope now let's see if we can try to find the star. Oh, here it is. Well, 
now we have to adjust it to make sure that we can look it there you go that is a star that I, oh too far let's go backward let's zoom in a little bit more there you go that is the star that i'm looking for i'm having a lot of fun using the eacon telescope to be honest i really like it so far